Now to a heartbroken community mourning two young lives taken way too soon. 15 year old Sania Sekik was killed along with another passenger, the driver of this accident. That person survived. It crashed off an overpass and then burst into flames yesterday. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Torres live in Pearl River with more on this story. Joe. David and Liz, that other victim, Alton Nezaj, he was a very, very popular student athlete here at Pearl River High School. There were no classes here at the school today because of the holiday. Nonetheless, the students came to the school not to study and to learn, but to grieve and to mourn. It doesn't feel like Columbus Day in Pearl River. It feels like Memorial Day. Heartbroken family members of Altine Nazaj didn't want to talk to reporters. Instead, they leaned on each other at the teenager's home this afternoon as they remembered and mourned the tragic loss of a promising student athlete. This is a remarkable community for its resilience and its ability to come together in times of tragedy. And this is, uh, this is no different. Um, we will have counselors available today and throughout the week to support our students and staff. The 17-year-old football player and wrestler was one of two people killed in a fiery crash Sunday afternoon in Pearl River. Police say they were passengers in a 2017 Porsche Macan traveling northbound on Route 304 when the vehicle veered off an overpass and plummeted onto the New Jersey Transit Railroad tracks. The sporty SUV burst into flames upon impact. The other victim was Saniha Sekik of Brooklyn. The 15-year-old attended Edward R. Murrow High School. She was an awesome child, awesome cousin, sister, uh, daughter, uh, honor student, top of her class, wouldn't uh, hurt a fly, you know, innocent kid. A small memorial marks the spot where the vehicle crashed. There were no classes at Pearl River High today, but students gathered to remember Alton Nazaj and to pray for Aisha Radonchik. The 17 year old was behind the wheel of the Porsche. She survived, but remains in critical condition at Westchester Medical Center. Alton had always had the biggest smile on his face in school. Like, he was everyone's friend. Like, just everyone knew him. And I had so many classes with Aisha, too. Like, she was such a good friend, and everyone knew them so well. We've learned tonight the driver of the Porsche, Aisha, and the female victim in this story, Saniha, they were cousins. Well, tonight, the wake for Saniha in Astoria, Queens. And as you heard, the superintendent, grief counselors will be here at the high school all week. The Department of Education in New York City also saying grief counselors as well at Edward R. Murrow High School.